and their families, we welcome you to share in the joy of the marriage of Aaron Craig Love and Kelly Gloria Baird. The Lord is shining down on us and blessed, blessed us with a beautiful evening, a beautiful venue for this beautiful couple. A Jewish wedding is full of meaningful traditions and rituals, symbolizing the beauty of a relationship of husband and wife, as well as our obligation to each other and to the Jewish people. The wedding ceremony takes place under a chuppah, a symbol of the home the new couple will build together. It's open on all sides, symbolizing the welcoming of people in unconditional hospitality. We will begin with a reading of the ketubah by Kelly's grandmother, Sarah Lee Rong. Sarah Lee? We have a microphone set up. As, whoops, okay. As we embark on life's journey, we promise to love, cherish, encourage, and inspire one another. Our hearts fuse together, creating a unique bond with friendship and compassion for its core. Through this union, we vow to value and support each other, always striving to show sensitivity to each other's needs. We shall nurture one another and emotionally, spiritually, and intelligently, always mindful of our respective qualities and strengths. May we continue to grow together. I should be looking at you guys. <laughs> Entertaining the courage and determination to pursue our desired paths. We promise to celebrate the joys with grace and overcome life's adversities with tenacity. May we maintain the intimacy that fosters trust, honesty, and communication. As the parties, we shall strive to build a home of emulating love, peace, and trust. 
Through each other's eyes, we see the world anew. May we be better together. Thank you. In preparing for the wedding, I spent quite a bit of time uh, meeting, talking, and sharing with Kelly and Aaron. And one story in particular really stands out to me that I wanted to share with you today. Where they describe that they feel they're marrying their best friends. They are, they are kindred spirits. They, their other half. And almost as if a copy of themselves. Kelly calls it counterparts and Aaron calls it countermates. This is their person, personal version of what we would call soulmates. This is very much in alignment with the Jewish belief called Talmud, which says 40 days before a male child is conceived, a voice from heaven announces whose daughter he's going to marry, literally a match made in heaven. In Yiddish, the perfect match is called Bashert, a word meaning fate or destiny. The bride and groom will now exchange vows. Kelly, take three. Do you, Kelly, do you, Kelly, take Aaron to be your lawfully wedded husband, promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with a life blessed, blessed by the faith of Israel? Repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring you are made holy to me. You are made holy to me. For I love you as my soul. For I love you as my soul. You are now my husband. You are now my husband. Aaron? Do you, Aaron, take Kelly to be your lawfully wedded wife? Promise to love, honor, cherish, and protect, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with a life blessed by the faith of Israel. I do. Aaron, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, you are made holy to me. You are made holy to me. For I love you as my soul. For I love you as my soul. For I love you as my soul. You are now my wife. <laughs> You're now my wife. <laughs> by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride. tradition of the ceremony is the breaking of the glass by the group. This is followed by Mazel Tov from the crowd. So okay. in your participation.